Hi, Dr. Pat here. We're looking at uh, input and output models. And in the previous video, I did a nice, very straightforward, simple example of spells. It was an economy that was only looking at, only had one sector to it. Uh, it was producing only one item. And so that was easy. So in this particular example I'm doing, I'm doing yams and hams. And so I'm looking at the economy that has two sectors, the yam sector and the ham sector, you know basically the agricultural and the meat sector. And so we have information about uh, the production process, how much we use up each item, some of our resources, in order to produce things. So to produce one unit of yams, we're going to use up in that production one quarter units of yams and then one two hundredth units of pigs. So what we have here is when we produce yams, we'll actually be using up some of our yams to do that. Uh, how? Well, we could use for seeds. Uh, we'll need some seeds from the from the yams and things like that. And also, um, basically, the idea is that the farmer, um, when growing these things, is going to have to eat. So in the process of of growing the yams, we'll actually eat some of the yams um, for their energy. And uh, same thing with the pigs. So the farmer will probably have some some aspect of the pigs. Maybe we're using yeah, a nice lazy pig for some kind of work for us if we can get them up and do some work. Or uh, basically we're just basically having some uh, nice good bacon or something like that with that. And then when we produce a pig, um, what's going to do it? What's going to happen is we're going to feed that pig yams. And so in the process of of getting a pig, we're going to basically use up one sixth units of yams. And so that's what's going on there. And so the question that we want to explore here is if we have a production level of 100, how much do we use up? So if we're producing 100 units of yams and 70 units of pigs, then how much yams and pigs do we use up in this production? Because remember, we're using up a little bit of each, each thing in order to produce it. And so let's just kind of take a look at that. And so I'm just looking at that production. We've got a production level, the 170. We've got an efficiency rate kind of idea with the, the these fractions here. So let's put it together. So in terms of yams, how much yams do we use up if we want to produce 100 units of yams? Well, this little sentence right here, production of one unit of yams requires one quarter units of yams. So every time we produce one unit, we're going to use up a quarter. And so if I'm going to do 100 units of yams at my production level, one quarter of that 100 units is going to be used up in the production process. So the farmer is going to eat up. So a quarter of his yams he's going to eat, the family and things like that are going to eat for it. So one quarter times 100. Now when producing pigs, the pigs are going to eat up some yams. So every time we produce a pig, we're going to have one sixth of our units of yams being eaten up by the pig. Since we have 70 pigs that we want to shoot for, that means 70 times the 1 6, and that'll give us an idea of how much yams is used up. When we do this calculation, we get 36.7. This basically tells us in order to produce 100 units of yams, 70 pigs, we're, uh, in that process, the farmer's going to eat it and the pig's going to eat 36.7 units of yams. Now, when we produce some pigs, what's going to happen there is uh, when we're producing our yams, whoops, excuse me, no, we're not producing pigs here, my apologies. So in this process of producing 100 yams and 70 pigs, how much pigs are used up? And so when I look back at the words here, the only time I'm using up pigs is when I produce the yams. And so what I've got here is 1 200th. So every time I produce one, one unit of yams, 1 over 200th of pigs is being used up. And if I've got 100 units of yams, I would take that 100 times this rate here of 1 over 200 and that would tell me how much pigs I'm using in order to produce the 100 units of yams. And um, in production of pigs, no pigs are used up so that's why you're seeing a zero here. I'm just kind of throwing this zero so the zero times 70 because when we produce 70 pigs we're not using up pigs. Pigs are not eating themselves kind of stuff so, so we're kind of keeping it clean that way. The only time we're using up pigs is in the production of the yams. And so that's what we've got here. So we're going to have uh, to produce 70 pigs um, and 100 units of yams. We're only going to basically be consuming in the production process a half a unit of a pig.
Okay, so that's basically the idea. Hopefully this kind of made sense intuitively. Now let's make the transition to matrices. And so what does this look like? So what I'm looking at here is these two equations here. What do they kind of look like? When we have two equations like that, hopefully you realize that's a system of equations. And so when we're looking at these two equations I just made, we calculated, the first row here, this first equation was about yams. The second equation was about how much of the pig we used up. And so hopefully when you look at that, you're like going, hey, wait a minute, that's a system of equations. And in terms of matrix, we had a way to work those matrices. So if you remember when we did system of equations and we wanted to turn a system of equations into a matrix, we took the coefficients. And then the hundreds and the 70, that's kind of like my X and Y. So we basically took the coefficients, made them into a matrix. So the one quarter, the one sixth, the one two hundredth, and the zero, there's my matrix. And then times that by 170, so 100 and then 70. If I were to take this and multiply using our matrix multiplication, we would get exactly back this relationship that we have system of equations and then on the other side the right hand side we just basically have a nice little matrix of those numbers there so what I'm trying to represent here is the first row of each of these matrix and the first row is all about the yams the second row is all about pigs how we're consuming up our pigs and so that's what we got going here so basically what I was trying to do here is go with some intuition just kind of calculate some things and then see if we can turn these two equations into a system of equations, turn them into matrix. And so that's kind of what I got playing with. And so now I want to look at just this one fraction right here, or this one matrix, excuse me. Um, some people call it the technology matrix, some people call it the input output matrix. And so let's kind of look at, analyze what, what these numbers really represent. Okay, so recall from from the problem we had this idea that the production of one unit of yams requires one quarter units of yams and one two hundredth pigs and I'm noticing the the one quarter and the one two hundredth right there so in this first column here is all about the production of one yam okay and then the production of one unit of pig requires one six units of yams there's our one six units and then we had zero pigs used up so the second column is all about the production of pigs so now remember from before the first row was about yams the how we used them up the efficiency rates and the second row was about pigs that was from the previous slide and now by looking at this the placement of these numbers it looks like the first column is about yams, the production of one unit of yams, and the second column is the production of one unit of pigs. And so that's basically what we're looking at is we've got an input, that's the rows, and we have an output, that's the columns. And that's how these technology matrix, these input output matrices are made up. So when we put this, we can actually convert the words into a matrix straightforward. So we can basically save all that other step the steps that we've done and just go straight this way. So we could actually put the words together. And how we do that is you pick a row to be something, one of your sectors. In this case, my first row here is about yams, and my first column is about yams. That means the second row is about pigs, and the second column is about pigs. And so how I do this is all the information, first row, how are my yams consumed in order to make one unit of yams and one unit of pigs. And so that's what I'm looking at. The production of one unit of yams, one quarter of units of yams is, is used up. And so I put the quarter there because that's the yam yam spot. Ooh, yum yum. And then we've got the pigs to produce one unit of yams. So in that first column, I'm looking at the production of one unit of, of yams, and then I go to the second row there to put my fraction 1 over 200. When I start talking about the production of pigs, then I go to the second column, and then my first row is about how much yams are consumed in order to produce that one unit of, of pig, and so that's why the 1 sixth there is. And then the second row here, how much of the pig is consumed in order to produce one pig, and we got zero there. And so that's the kind of the way that we play these matrices. 
hopefully this is uh, starting to make sense in this. We'll get into some other word problems coming up. Thanks and have a good day.